The Retromobile in Paris has been the first important classic car show in Europe for many years and is launching the respective classic car season in February. It is where the international classic car scene meets and where you can see the market trends. In three large halls, well-known dealers from all over Europe and numerous special exhibitions presented themselves. Of course, the French brands dominated the special exhibitions, but the interested buyers could look forward to a very exclusive selection of vehicles. After only a few hours, the first sold signs were found on many vehicles. Vehicles that wrote history were in high demand such as the 1970 Ferrari 12M, who finished 4th in Le Mans 1971 in the overall ranking. Like the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL from the former possession of Paul Newman, or the Ferrari 250 Pininfarina Convertible Series 1 built in 1975 and was exhibited in 1957 at the Frankfurt Motor Show. At the booth of Kartik by Mechatronic was the Grimmer Porsche 935, the only street-legal Porsche of its kind. The biggest eye-catcher in respect to sports cars was the booth of Swiss vintage car dealer Lucas Uni. Here, 10 Ferrari 250 GT short wheelbase were presented in a row. Including a Ferrari 250 GT short wheelbase with a Bertone coachwork, custom-made for Nuccio Bertone. Also in 2018, the Ferraris dominated the overall image of the Retromobile. The offers range from Formula 1 race cars, or some Ferrari Lusso models, Ferrari 356 GTB Daytona, and 275 GTB models to extremely rare specimens, such as the Ferrari 212 Export with a coachwork by Vignale. In addition to Ferraris, it were the race legends that dominated the Retromobile market such as the 1954 Maserati 250F, once driven by Maserati works driver Jean Berat. The red monoposti was shown at the booth of Fiskens. A few meters farther on, it was the 1958 BRM Type 25, which was once driven by the successful Swedish racing driver Joachim Bonnier for BRM. Also Formula 1 was represented at the booth. The white 1982 Brabham BT49 even inspired the young visitors to the fair. The 1963 Jaguar E-Type Lightweight has a very special roofline. The three original owners, three racing drivers who studied mechanical engineering at the Imperial College in London, rebuilt the vehicle after a few races to achieve a better aerodynamics. Among other models, Egon Zweimüller presented the legendary Porsche Carrera 6 from 1966. At the booth of William I. Anson LTD stood the Lotus 16 with which Jim Clark formerly contested several races and next to it the Renault Alpine prototype A220 from 1968 with a proven racing history. JD Classic presented a shapely Fiat supersonic Otto Vue. A trend that has been announced over the last few years took also this year an important position on the Retromobile. There were a lot of unrestored and original preserved vehicles to be seen, especially from the pre-war era. The pristine vehicles were an eye-catcher. Although the paint cracked, parts of the body were affected by rust and the interiors were partly worn out heavily, the vehicles found much admirers. After all, the originals such as a Vassin, Panard de la Vassour, or even the Renault founding fathers told a very special story. Of course, the very exclusive French vehicles were not missing at the fair. Again, there were some unique pieces to be admired, such as the Peugeot Dalmar Roadster. Another rare specimen was the 1926 Peugeot 176 with a special body by Charles Felber. Of course, the Bugattis dominated the scenery as well. You could see models from the 30s up to the Bugatti EB110 in the 90s. Also some German dealers were represented in Paris, like Axel Schütte, Arthur Bechtel, HK Engineering, Mechatronics, Kienle and also Brabos. Mainly the German dealers showed Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Although there were some Porsche 911 models at the Retromobile this year, the numbers were limited and prices were declining.